So, Imish, we cleaned all the cups as good as we could. I'm just checking the clearance of the or the end play of the. Why is it not moving? Your other stack. That's uh, yeah, two and a half tent. What's the spec? Point one eight two. Point one eight two. So that's two times over spec. Well, the engine is toast anyway. So, <laughs> but that's a lot. All right. Uh, not really a surprise. At least the rear one is better. That's. Uh, Ah, under 110. That thing. Well, exhaust is better. The whole the whole camshaft looks better on the exhaust side. This one, I think it was running dry. For whatever reason. Okay, we'll check the bearing clearance now. So the head is back together. Like the valve clearance, everything is fine. We've replaced this bearing because he had uh, a lot of play. I didn't film it, we, it was late and we didn't do it. So th that front bearing is a 6002 2 RS. That's the only gasket, there's no gasket, no, no shaft seal, nothing. So what we found is this one here. We got some marks, some chain marks bit more on the right hand side which is quite deep actually but so the chains are probably due as well all right changing the gaskets and then reassemble it okay we're fitting the head gasket Just fiddling the chains from the gasket, yeah. Okay, pretty good. It's just pinching the gasket over the pins here. Make sure it's actually on the pin. The two locations pins. One is here. One is down there. Looks good to me. Is the ball clean of water here? Okay, head? Yep. Alright. So, we're about to fit the cylinder head. I'm ready. Got the chains down. Watch the tension on this side. It's all clear here. Right. All clear. Good. Done. We later found out this wheel has a clutch here. You can actually push it back and turn it. It's spring loaded. And that's the reason why, why this cam has a lot more clearance. 
uh, because that was out of spec and I think it's that pressure bearing. Now we need to fiddle this cam chain around this one. Uh, tensioner is fully compressed, is it? Yep. Chain in place, put a cable tight for but don't forget it afterwards. Alright. Just one moment. Looks good. I think it's okay. Yeah. Check it. It looks good, so I think we're okay. Just hold it there. Ah, it's not gonna go anywhere. Head bolts or head nuts. Well, that's going to be boring now. I'll switch off the camera. It's just getting the the wire off and fitting the head nuts, and then we'll tighten it up like the other side. So manufacturer spec says you're going to oil the head bolt studs or the head studs, and uh, that's what we're going to do. Just put some oil on. Otherwise, you're not going to reach the correct torque. And once you've fitted your chain link, there is a bolt down there which releases your tensioner. And that should tension your chain. Uh, we just found that the chains are a bit long as well. So they're going to be changed soon. you put the link in the right direction. Drive belt is a bit weird, there's no tensioner, so you're gonna fiddle that over the pulley somehow. Make sure you've got the right timing marks. That's probably the reason why it's machined down here, otherwise you're not gonna get it over. Because half of the pulley is machined away. Uh, yeah, it's a bit fiddly, but uh, it's doable somehow. You got master cylinder back in to put the brake pipes on. On? So Nearly. Uh, yeah. The engine mounts there, you got the exhaust. The exhaust took actually longer than fitting the head because you can't get there. So now it's just uh, reassembling as we took it apart and uh, see if it works. So we're about to fit the valve covers. Uh, we just oil the cams a little bit. You're dripping. Um, just oil the cams a little bit. It's actually engine oil. With, it, it's not dirty. It looks dirty, but it's uh, engine oil with MOS2. Gives you a little bit of lubricant when you, when you crank it over. And once the cover's back on, we crank it for oil pressure and see what's happening. Sorry for the bright spots, there's nothing I can do, the car is white. Should be alright. So, the valve covers are mostly on a few nuts and bolts and we're going to do the injection lines now which is yeah it's just plumbing so it's easy but it's pretty done that's next and so then once the injection lines are there uh, we crank it over with no spark plugs to see if we get oil pressure okay we got all the injector lines fitted and for those in the middle at least for those in the middle you need that fancy socket here. Uh, the other ones, it's 70 millimeters. the other ones are okay, but the center ones, you can't tighten them without this tool. Uh, I think it's expensive. <laughs> it is. Looks like. Okay, we uh, throttle. Yeah, throttle linkage. Cover. The uh, 
the newspaper in the spark plug holes and then we'll crank it for oil pressure and obviously the intakes should be fine. Okay, we're about to crank first time, no spark. We disconnected the ignition modules so we have no spark. The plugs are just loose, we just crank it over for oil pressure. Go! No nasty noises. That's good. Ah, it's cooling. Fuel. Any pressure? Carry on. Coming? Five. Okay. All right. So we got 5 bar oil pressure while cranking with no spark plugs, sounds good. Uh, put the ignition on and uh, fire it. Okay, we are ready to crank or oh, fire. Yeah, uh, fuel is coming. Huh? There's bubbles in the pump. Okay. No leaks so far. Try. Sounds a bit evil. Yeah, it's going. 